Let's check one more interesting sum, children. What is this one trying to say? It says triangle ABC is an equilateral triangle. It's an equilateral triangle, mind you. Uh, further, bisector of angle B intersects circumcircle of triangle ABC in point P. So in short, they are telling us BP is the angle bisector of CBA. BP is the angle bisector of CBA. The moment BP is an angle bisector of CBA, let us jot down. This is congruent to this. Prove that CQ is equal to CA. CQ is equal to CA. Whatever I just draw via dotted sign is what we are supposed to prove it. It's not given to us. It is what we are supposed to prove it. So I intend to prove. I intend to prove CQ is equal to CA. Mind you, this is not given. This is what we intend to prove. Right? Great. How we will do so? Right? I'll give you something called as shifting to proof technique. I think so. I've given you earlier also. If not, you can take it right now. Shifting to proof. In geography, you have something called as shifting cultivation. This is my way of teaching geometry. I say shifting to proof. Means what? If I want CQ is equals to CA, if that's what my final uh, step is, right? In which triangle? So first of all, I'm supposed to go into. I'm supposed to go into triangle CQ. A. And in triangle CQA, if I want CQ should be equal to CA, so what should be what should I prove then? I should prove the base angles equal. Have you understood what I'm saying by shifting cultivation? The moment I prove the base angles equal, that is angle CQA congruent to angle CA Q, I'm done with my sum. By what theorem? By converse of isosceles tri triangle theorem. By converse of isosceles triangle theorem in CQA, if I happen to prove this angle congruent to this angle by converse of isosceles, my sum is done. So that's what my shifting cultivation is or rather shifting to prove is. So henceforth, I'm not going to look at my CQ is equal to CA as my target proof. What am I supposed to keep in my mind? The moment I prove these two angles congruent, the next line will be taken care by whom? Converse of isosceles triangle theorem. Are you getting me children? So what is our purpose now? Let's start. How? What type of triangle it is given to us? It's an equilateral triangle. Triangle ABC is an equilateral triangle. Being an equilateral triangle, what each angle is going to be? Each angle is going to be 60. Can I say this entire is 60? Can I say this is 60? Likewise, can I say this is also 60? Any problem? So that's what I'm going to write down. Therefore, angle CBA is equals to BCA is equals to BAC, which is 60 degree. Equation number one, angles of equilateral triangle. Angles of equilateral triangle. Are we done with that? What next? Sir, BP is an angle bisector given from their end. Can I say therefore, therefore, each angle works out to be 30. What I'm talking about? This one is 30. This one is 30. Agree or disagree? Since segment BP is angle bisector of angle CBA, therefore, can I say CBP equals to ABP, which is half of CBA. CBA we know it's 60. That is CBP is equals to ABP half of 60. From where did I get this? From equation 1. That is CBP equals to ABP which is equals to 30 degree. Equation number 2. Actually children I was not interested in ABP. As a teacher I know only to make you understand that both these angles are equal. We are interested only in CBP. How much is CBP? 30. That's what we have written here. I'm least interested about this. So if you want, you can ignore this. If you want, you can ignore this. And you can simply write down here. By ignoring this, you can simply write down 30. Equation number 2. That's it. Any problem? What next? 
as we have told ourselves that it is this angle to be proved congruent to this one, right? Just look at this 30. I'm showing with the same marker. Just look at this 30. Ignore this one. Ignore this one. So can you see a red 30 uh, angle with red color marker 30? What kind of relation can you say about this angle and this angle? What kind of relation can you say? What are they forming? Are they forming angles in same segment or angles in same arc? Angles inscribed in the same arc. And what do we have learned in circle? Angles in same segment or angles inscribed in the same arc are congruent. If this is 30, don't you think so this is 30? If this is 30, this is 30, right? What is it? A, B, sorry, C, B, P congruent to C, A, P, angles in same segment or angles inscribed in same arc. Multiple boards uses multiple reason, right? So we say now, angle CBP congruent to angle CAP, angles inscribed in same segment, angles in same segment, or one can say angles inscribed in same arc. As I said, a couple of boards uses, many, many boards uses different reason. Either you say angles in same segment or you say angles inscribed in the same arc are congruent. If you want, you can write down that also. Or you can say angles inscribed in same arc. Angles inscribed in same arc are also congruent. Both the reasons are valid. Both the reasons are valid. What is CBP? Sir, CBP is 30. What we have said, CBP equals to CAP. Equation number three, what can I say from equation? From equation two and three, from equation two and three, from two and three, equations two and three, can I say CAP is also 30? But since I want myself to be there in CQA, so instead of saying CAP, can I say CAQ? That is CAQ is 30 degree. Equation number four, I should write down collinearity A dash P dash Q. That's my equation number four. CAQ is 30. Sir, now somehow if you prove this as 30, then we can say these two angles are congruent. So now my intention is to prove this one as 30. And how? Let's see. Now, what type of angle is this? What type of angle CBA? Sorry, BCA, I'm sorry. What type of angle BCA in context to QCA? Is it an iterate? BCA is what type of angle in context to CQ, uh, QCA? BCA is exterior angle of triangle CQA. So can I apply exterior angle property? Exterior angle of a triangle is equal to sum of the remote interior angle therefore bca is equals to cqa plus caq what is the reason by exterior angle property for remote interior angle for remote interior angle Children, BCA is 60. I'll write down. CQA, that's what I don't know. Plus CAQ, 30. From where did I get this? From which equation? Equation 1, equation 4. From 1 and 4. Bring this fellow here. Angle CQA is 30 degree. 60 minus 30, 30. Equation number 5. What do I see from 4 and 5? Are they equal? So in triangle CQA, move into that particular triangle. In triangle CQA, angle CQA, congruent to angle CAQ. From where did I get it? From equations. From equation 4 and 5. If the angles are congruent, sides opposite them are also congruent. Therefore, CQ is equals to CA. CQ is equals to CA by converse, converse of isosceles triangle 
theorem by converse of isosceles triangle theorem or you can write down the entire statement also if the angles are congruent sides opposite to them are also congruent right children so what did you learn in this particular sum something called as shifting to proof whatever we want to suppose to prove we tried what could be the second last step if somehow we prove the angles congruent the last step can be proved via converse of isosceles quite simple children